I don't know. There's a real insecurity I have with, yes, I have the quantum because I look at that more as the feminine. Um, it's just this thing that's bugging me. And hearing you talk about it, because the linear is so important. I mean, when we're doing this work with Carolyn, it is a science. Um, it is a, there is a step-by-step. Step. We have to be logical. I mean, there is that. And there's also the quantum. And it's, I mean, it's, it's all related, but the left brain is so important. I, d I don't know what I'm saying, except there's an insecurity of the low IQ trip. Okay, you, yeah, you can do the, the low IQ trip. You can do that trip if you want to, and you'll be stuck in it. Or you can do this. Um, what, what, what happens is that... Um, uh, you're, you're suffering from Cartesian an anxiety right now. <laughs> and Cartesian anxiety. And that's Rene Descartes divided, you know, my, he, he, he created a problem with mind and body. He separated the two. One of the things that happens here is that you're going to go into selfing and unselfing. And that's what a mystic needs to do. And what happens is you need to, you know, you, you hear, you've heard of uh, having sea legs. You have to have transcendental legs. And that's what we're going to learn here. Uh, that what you're doing is you're trying to ground yourself in something, and you can't. You can't ground yourself in the groundless. So there's a difference between validation and discovery. Left brain validates. I start the car, it starts. Discovery learns to watch and observe. And I'll give you an example. The immune system, when you go from in the nervous system, you know, when I say the immune, I mean the biology. When you go from linear and things start breaking down and the evidence goes against you, immediately you have an alarm system that says, I'm at the end of the forest, okay? So you have an immune suppression, you have uh, all kinds of processes going on that say alarm. If you know how to shift from validating to discovery, then what you're doing is you're not trying to validate, you're trying to... Um, you're trying to be aware of what's going on without validating your reality. So you get out of it. Let me give you an example. Okay. Um, but let me show you how to do it so you don't suppress. Because you, if you suppress, then, and then it's like saying, I'm never anxious type of thing. Um, okay, I had to go to, uh, <laughs> to um, St. Lucia to do a workshop on the psychonormenology of prayer for a, a conference of Catholic bishops. <laughs> They're getting there. They're getting really excited about these things. Um, so I do, I, you know, I'm going out. I've never been to St. Lucia. Um, and I get there, and I'm doing my linear. Okay, I get to St. Lucia. The bishop's waiting for me and all that. I get there, and no bishop. So immediately what happens is that I have to, I, I want to validate, and there's no evidence to validate. Anxiety goes up. So what you want to do is you don't want to deny the anxiety. You want to go into the anxiety and say, oh, God, what a terrible thing. I'm lost here. This place is terrible. I'm going to get killed here. You do all that and say, okay, I've done that. Clear it out. So then you shift navigational charts. And the way you do that is you say, I know this place. I've been here before. Everyone here is out to help me. You trick the nervous system to begin to function as familiar. And you don't want to validate because what makes the nervous system hyperactive and what makes the cortisol to come out and what makes the immune system to suppress is that you're trying to validate something that there's no evidence to validate. But if you go into discovery, you begin to look for guides. That's where you get from science to mystical here. I'm going to mystical now. So what I did, I said, okay, I'm very afraid, but I've been here before. And the first thing to do is you look for familiar, not to validate, but familiar for familiar's sake. I had a smiling person. She was looking. She was at, it said, welcome um, tourists or something like that. So I went up to her, and I knew already that I was connecting. That's when you're connecting with a synchronistic event, nonlinear. <coughs> because it's all there, but, but if you go tunnel, you're saying to the universe, I want $5. And the universe says, I'll give you 500 No, I want 5 Okay, you got 5 <laughs> So So you have to know how to do it. Um, that's why supplicant prayers don't work, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. But so anyway, so I go to this person, and I said, you know, I'm looking for these bishops. There are probably not a lot of conferences of bishops here. Could you call a Catholic church? You know, the Catholics kind of have a networking that they know everything that's going on with, with their thing. So she calls, and, and this she calls this convent, and then one of the nuns says, oh, yes, it's going to be a conference 
on the other side of the island, like 30 miles, and I thought, oh my God, here comes the linear again, confirming nervous system again, immune suppression, all kinds of things, on and off. Now imagine what happens if you're doing that all day, which is what happens, you know. Depression is a, is a giving up, and you have high cortisol levels with depression, which is a hyper alarm. <coughs> so I said, okay, let me feel the anxiety, and let me again discover this place is known. All of this is interconnected. What's the next guide? So I look around, and I see the smiling cab driver, and I call him, and she says, oh, that's my cousin. <laughs> so he comes up, and he says, uh, she t tells him what's going on. He said, I'll tell you what that you're going to get ripped off here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to charge you 50% and I'm going to take you through the rainforest. So you see? You, you're not validating, you're discovering. I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. I belong here. This is not the jungle. I'm open. Anxiety begins to go down and then you're open. If you don't do that, I would have caused a tremendous amount of cortisol secretion, all kinds of uh, physiological processes that would, that would create a, a problem for me. I would have never found the rainforest and I would have been ripped off. So that's the difference between the, and what you're doing is you're going right brain, left brain, but it's, it's holographic because the brain is not, you know, just left or right. It's not like that. It, the brain is, is holographic. <laughs>